codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the... What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. A way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. To, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's... A glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And we'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. ...that consume biomass as fuel... ...in emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fail has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. 
that? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. This... this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. 
If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining, and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. You said you've known for some time that Faro war machines destroyed the civilization of the old ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists, as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up there, at least. U.S. will back to my next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Being able to override you now. Glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. 
What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Ah, oh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Almost there. All right, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. The Shadow Karja Spear. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. Must be Shadow Karja armor. Strange. Not a scratch on it. Those blood stains are not the kind that of appear like they look like smears. Arrows scattered there. They look good as new. Never fired. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. 
then we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? that I think it's calling in machines get ready Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Those rocks, they're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. What are those leather straps? Armor straps, cut with a knife, and a rock with blood on it. These look like vanguard weapons. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch to me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. 
That, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets special treatment, and now outlanders what from the Savage East. What could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I... I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrifice them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him. 
and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asuram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons, machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. Then we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asuram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asuram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Agent should be at the marketplace by now. No sign of Marat's guy. 
He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Marat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
Dervas says you gotta eat dirt. <laughs> 